Welcome back to Ironclad RC. I had a request from one of my subscribers how to uh, program, how to set up a fly color ESC. These are fly color 90s. I have in my Blackjack 24 and my Delta Force 23. I have a 150 in my big Delta Force. So uh, we're going to go through how to set the parameters up in with a pistol grip remote all right you don't need a program card you go through the parameters with tones it emits a tone and it tells you which parameter you're on and then you can pick each program from that parameter so uh, let's get to it let's get to it all right I think I got everything in the picture okay uh, the fly color ESC's have five different parameters to pick from running mode motor direction uh, low voltage protection start mode which is punch or timing okay uh, each parameter has an option okay uh, two options for the first two forward and reverse okay so I'm gonna start with the first one I'll show you guys basically how to 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 get it into programming mode and then how to change from forward to forward and reverse I usually just go in forward right now it's in forward and reverse because I was messing with it just now so uh, let's get to it. All right. So first thing you want to do is pull your throttle full trigger. Okay. You're going to hold it there. Turn your remote on. Keep it full trigger while you're plugging in the battery. It's going to emit two tones and then a musical tone. Hold it down. Hold it down. Keep holding it down. All right. We're in programming mode. One beep. Let go of it to pick the parameter. Okay. Forward. And then push it again all right so and then it's gonna and then it's gonna basically start the boat over let's make sure we got that parameter no reverse all right forward only so we got we got that parameter perfect all right so let's unplug the boat first turn off the remote all right let's do it again let's uh let's make sure our low voltage protection is on 3.2 volts. I'm actually going to go to 3.4 so it don't ruin our batteries. So that's going to be one long beep and one short beep. One, two, three, four, five, six. The sixth option and the third parameter. So uh, full trigger. Turn your remote on. Plug your ESC in. It's going to do two beeps then a musical tone. Keep it held down. Through the musical tone while it's going through the parameters. All right, so running mode, motor direction, low voltage protection. Let go of it. All right, two, two point eight volts, three volts. Factory default is the gray. All right, full trigger, we saved it. That's it, that's the boat starting over. So it's ready to go. All right, and then let's unplug it. All right, let's start it back over. Um, I'm gonna go to, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna actually, since I'm running this pitchy prop on the boat, all right, I'm gonna change my timing. I'm gonna go to uh, 11.25 instead of the factory default. Uh, 15 okay um, when you lower your timing on your boat it's increasing the torque from the motor if you increase the timing it's reducing the torque and giving you more rpm you got me so if you turn a small prop you can turn you could turn up the the timing if you're turning a small prop but if you turn a big prop you need to go down lower with the timing also if you're running in a short area a small area you can lower your timing, get better performance. If you've got it like a long, big lake, you can increase the timing so you can get more RPMs and a higher speed. Uh, basically, basically. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. So uh, I'm going to change my timing. So let's get you back at the boat. I'm, I'm, uh, this boat has a 90, 90 amp fly color, but the perimeters are all the same. So full trigger, turn your remote on, plug your battery in, hold the trigger down, while you're going through your parameters. Hold it all the way down until you get to the parameter that you want to pick. Hold it down. Keep holding it. We're going all the way to five. One long beep for the timing. 
motor direction, low voltage protection, punch, and let's go to timing, room release, neutral position. All right, we're going to go all the way to four beeps. So two, 7.5, we're going to 11.25, four, saved it. All right, now you can unplug the battery. All right, and that's it. That's basically how you do it, all right? Um, that's basically how you do it, all right? That's how you run through the parameters and then pick the option for each parameter. Um, make sure you hold it down, full throttle, turn it on, plug it in, and then wait for the parameters to turn to emit so you can go through and pick out what you're, what you're looking for. Uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching uh this like i said this is for one of my subscribers he uh has been waiting on this video for a few days maybe a week now i apologize i've been busy with other projects kind of slipped my mind so uh there you go that's how you program a fly color esc all right uh all of them are the same like i said uh pretty easy you could you could once you get that down pat once you know how to do it i i do it all the time at the lakes like if i'm at the lake and i want to change my punch or my timing you know pop the hatch Hold it down, boom, plug in the battery and go through the parameters. You just got to kind of memorize them or take your sheet with you. And uh, you can do it right at the lake. Get, it saves it, plug it back in, boom, you're ready to roll. All right, so thanks for watching. Big B with Ironclad RC, channel where we tinker, test, and build RC boats. Ring the bell, ring the bell, subscribe, like, comment, all that good, good. <laughs> we'll see you next time.